Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for November 6th, read by Charlie L. from St. Paul, Minnesota. AA Thoughts for the Day Criticism Now and then, all of us fall under heavy criticism. When we are angered and hurt, it's difficult not to retaliate in kind. Yet we can restrain ourselves and then probe ourselves, asking whether our critics were really right. If so, we could admit our defects to them. This usually clears the air for mutual understanding. Maybe a sense of humor can be our saving grace. Thus, we can both forgive and forget. Bill W. Letter, 1966. As Bill sees it, page 184. Thought to consider. The best way to get even is to forget. Acronyms. Yet. You're eligible, too. Just for today. Every AA ought to know from The Three Legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. Dr. Bob was essentially a far more humble person than I. In some ways, he was a sort of spiritual natural, and this anonymity business came rather easily to him. He could not understand why some people should want so much publicity. In the years before he died, his personal example respecting anonymity did much to help me keep my own lid on. I think of one affecting instance in particular, one that every AA ought to know, when it was sure that Dr. Bob was mortally afflicted. Some of his friends suggested that there should be a suitable monument or mausoleum erected in honor of him and his wife Anne, something befitting a founder and his lady. Of course, this was a very natural and moving tribute. The committee went so far as to show him a sketch of the proposed edifice. Telling me about this, Dr. Bob grinned broadly and said, God bless them. They mean well. But for heaven's sake, Bill, let's you and I get buried just like other folks. A year after his passing, I visited the Akron Cemetery where Dr. Bob and Anne lie. The simple stone says not a word about Alcoholics Anonymous. Some people may think that this wonderful couple carried personal anonymity too far when they so firmly refused to use the words Alcoholics Anonymous, even on their own burial stone. For one, I don't think so. I think that this moving and final example of self-effacement will prove of more permanent worth to AA than any amount of public attention or any great monument. Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, pages 136 and 137. Daily Reflections Going with the Flow Sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood Him. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 96 The first words I speak when arising in the morning are, I arise, O God, to do thy will. This is the shortest prayer I know, and it is deeply ingrained in me. Prayer doesn't change God's attitude toward me, it changes my attitude toward God. As distinguished from prayer, meditation is quiet time without words. To be centered is to be physically relaxed, emotionally calm, mentally focused, and spiritually aware. One way to keep the channel open and to improve my conscious contact with God is to maintain a grateful attitude. On the days when I am grateful, good things seem to happen in my life. The instant I start cursing things in my life, however, the flow of good stops. God did not interrupt the flow. My own negativity did. As Bill sees it, we recall a little ruefully, how much store we used to set by imagination as it tried to create reality out of bottles. Yes, we reveled in that sort of thinking, didn't we? And though sober nowadays, don't we often try to do much the same thing? Perhaps our trouble was not that we used our imagination. 
Perhaps the real trouble was our almost total inability to point imagination toward the right objectives. There's nothing the matter with truly constructive imagination. All sound achievement rests upon it. After all, no man can build a house until he first visions a plan for it. 12 and 12, page 100. Big book quote. One of the many doctors who had the opportunity of reading this book in manuscript form told us that the use of sweets was often helpful. Of course, depending on a doctor's advice. He thought all alcoholics should constantly have chocolate available for its quick energy value at times of fatigue. He added that occasionally in the night a vague craving arose which could be satisfied by candy. Many of us have noticed a tendency to eat sweets and I have found this practice beneficial. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. The Family Afterward, page 133. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Fear and worry had me down. They were increased by my drinking. I worried about what I had done when I was a drunk. I was afraid of what the consequences might be. I was afraid to face people because of the fear of being found out. Fear kept me in hot water all the time. I was a nervous wreck from fear and worry. I was a tied up bundle of nerves. I had fear of failure, of the future, of growing old, of sickness, of hangover, of suicide. I had a wrong set of ideas and attitudes. When AA told me to surrender these fears and worries to a higher power, I did so. I now try to think faith instead of fear. Have I put faith in place of fear? Meditation for the day. Spiritual power is God in action. God can only act through human beings. Whenever you, however weak you may be, allow God to act through you, then all you think and say and do is spiritually powerful. It is not you alone who produces a change in the lives of others. It is also the divine spirit in you and working through you. Power is God in action. God can use you as a tool to accomplish miracles in people's lives. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may try to let God's power act through me today. I pray that I may get rid of those blocks which keep his power from me. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Charlie L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information... Go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.